Hey guys, my name is Ayana and this is my channel. Here I share with you guys DIY ideas with tips and tricks on how to refashion and upcycle to create those unique looks. I do a bit of everything on this channel because I've learned clothing isn't the only thing you can upcycle or refashion. You have your clothing, accessories, even those home decors. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe and let the refashioning and upcycling begin. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how I created this really cool sewing machine mat and pocket organizers out of a men's old trousers and some scrap fabric. The first thing I did was cut open the pants to get access to fabric. So I removed the waistband and the zipper. Once those two aspects were removed, I simply cut open the pant legs and I got myself two pieces of fabric to work with. Next, I placed my pieces on top of each other, right side facing right side, and then I marked off my mat measurements. Now for my mat, the length is 28 inches and the width is 12 inches. Both measurements accommodate for seam allowances. So if you want to use those measurements, go right ahead. If not, you go ahead and measure out the area where you rest your machine and create your own. For the pocket organizer, my measurements is 28 inches in width and 10 inches in length. Now, the 10 inches, I measured that by placing my measuring tape at the edge of the table and I came down. Now, I don't want the pocket area to be bouncing on my legs when I sit, so I went 10 inches and that 10 inches also accommodates some my seam allowances. To create the actual pockets, the piece that you need needs to be longer than 28 inches. So for example, I went 34 inches in length and the width that was 10 inches, I have that as 5 inches, half of it. Now to create that nice cushioned mat, you need to get your hands on some wadding. I believe that is how it's pronounced. W-A-D-D-I-N-G, wadding, <laughs> right? So I took one of the pieces, one of the matte pieces, I placed wrong side on top of the wadding and I cut out the wadding piece needed for my mat. Once I had my pieces in place, I then took my ruler and a piece of chalk. I would recommend you use chalk so it can be easily uh, removed at the end. I then took my ruler and chalk and created diagonal lines going across my fabric. And I did it both ways. These lines is what I will be stitching along so that I can create that quilted look.
Once you run your stitch over your lines, it should look like this. Hopefully, you did a better job than me. <laughs> Let's continue working on the pockets. So what you want to do is place your shorter pocket piece down, having the right side face up, and you're going to take the longer piece and place it on top of that piece, wrong side facing that right side. And you want to line up the sides of your pocket. Now all I'm doing here is simply turning in the raw edges of my pocket piece because I need it to be nice and neat and flush. Once you've done that, just connect the other ends of your pocket piece and take it to your machine and run a stitch to have it in place. Let's continue working on the pockets. Now that you have your two pocket pieces attached, that longer piece gives you enough material to play with and create as many pockets as you like. So if you want two big pockets, you just place a pin in the middle there and you have two pockets and you just run a stitch from the bottom of your pocket sack all the way up where the actual pocket piece stops. And that's how you create your pocket. If you want more than two, go ahead, play around, pin in place and then you run a stitch in all the areas you have placed your pin just like what you see I'm doing here once you've created your pockets it's time to turn in the raw edges at the bottom of your pockets and create a nice finished pocket what I would recommend is because each of your pockets might have a little belly <laughs> because of that extra fabric because that's what you want i would recommend you put small pleats at the bottom when you're about to hem so it gives it a nice neat finish Now that the pockets are finished, let's attach it to that quilted aspect of the mat. So you're going to let right side face right side and we are attaching it from the bottom. So the bottom of the quilted mat is going to attach to the bottom of the pockets. So just clip, pin in place and then run your stitch. This here is optional. Because my mat will be closer to the edge of my table, I decided to create a little bin that I could dispose of threads and little excess fabric that I cut away from whatever I'm using at the machine. So <laughs> I used the lining pockets from the pants to create this little uh, bin on the side of my mat.
let's finish off the mats so the first thing you want to ensure is that the sides of your pockets are folded inward this is to ensure that they don't get stitched when you're running your stitch along the edges of the mat if you don't remove it and it gets stitched what's gonna happen is that your pocket is not gonna hang the way that it should so just ensure that it's folded in on the sides once you've done that take some pins or clips and pin and clip around the edges of your mat leaving one side unstitched Once you've stitched around the edges, leaving one side open, you can now turn your mat right side out and it's going to look like this. That open side, just turn in the raw edges and run a stitch and seal it off. And that's it. Your mat is complete. Just did a little artwork on my mat and that was it. I think this is a great must have for every sewing corner and I hope this video inspired you guys to create your own. And until next time guys, this is.